Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Pugh, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Notion to create your own writing template. Here we go. Okay, so we're in Notion, and if you haven't used Notion before, I've got some other beginner videos, but essentially what I've done is I've just, just created a new blank page. And so I've called calling it Storybook Writer. If you know anything about any of my other stuff, I it's all named Storybook, so I'm just calling it that. You can call it yours, whatever you want. So basically, I'm just going to show you a very easy way to organize your projects and chapters within those projects. And so you want to start with a blank page, and we're going to put the name at the top up here. And the first thing we're going to do, I have mine in dark mode. Um, so you can switch between dark and light mode. If you want, I have mine in dark just because I like it. Um, you can do a couple of things. You can add an icon if you want. Let's just uh, find an emoji of a book, perhaps. You can add a cover if you want to do that. You don't have to. It's up to you. So put your name in, and then we're going to go up to this top three um, dots up here and we're going to go to full width we're going to toggle that on so if you don't it kind of keeps it all in the center and we want to have it be full width so that's what we're going to do turn that off you can also change a couple of different settings here we won't get into all this but if you want it to be a uh, serif i kind of like that one when i make writing templates it's kind of nice and so you can also change this mono which is more of a techie type font so we're gonna do serif we'll turn that off and essentially we're going to create two databases. So if you hit the slash key, we're going to do database. We're going to do database inline. We're going to go under here and we're going to do it again. Database inline. The first one we're going to call projects. And the second one we're going to call chapters. The first thing we're going to do here is we are going to actually relate these two tables. So we're going to hit this plus button. It's going to bring up our new properties on projects. We're going to go to scroll all the way down to see a relation. Click that. And then you'll find the one you are looking for, which it should pop up since it's the most recent. It should pop up right here. So we're going to go to chapters and storybook writer. And we're going to go show on chapters. We're going to click that on. So now it's on both. So when I turn this on, it's going to show up on both things. And this can be very important later. We'll leave it named projects. We're going to add the relation. If we click out of that and you see you have now on our projects table, we have the chapters here. And then on our chapters table, we have projects. So you can do a lot of things here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually delete I'm going to delete the ones that are in here now. I'm going to delete these as well. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the chapters database. We're going to go to the three little dots and we are going to group by projects. Okay. So this will, once we start adding some projects, it will group any chapters we have by those projects. We're going to leave off hide empty groups for this example. So in projects, we're going to do, um, we'll just do project one and we'll do project two, so we can kind of see what's going on here. Um, so this tags, let's turn this tags one, this is a multi-select. So there's two different forms of tags. You can have one that's just, you can like select one tag or you can select multiple tags. So in this one, we're gonna call this status. So we can track our project status and we'll just put in some ones here that are like idea. Um, let's do first draft, second draft, final draft. Now, obviously, you can have as many of these as you want. We're going to actually turn this into a, not a multi-select, we're just going to turn it into a regular select, so you can only have one at a time, because generally a project, you are only going to be in kind of one stage with it at a time. And then what we're going to do is instead of having a table, we're going to edit this view, and we're going to turn it into a board view. And we're going to sort the board by status. So it's already done that automatically. We want to group here by status. Let's key, turn off empty groups and we'll put these in the right order. So you can just drag them around here. No status. There we go. Okay. Then, uh, so let's say we have project one, project two is an idea, project one is in first draft. So this is going to be kind of how it looks for us. But essentially, um, if you want, you can, we'll go into a couple different ways for chapters. Now what we want to do is what we want to do is we want to go to the blue up here, and we're gonna create a template for our projects. This is where the relation comes in really handy. So we're gonna call this new project as the template, and status will be idea. So every time you use this, it'll automatically set it to idea, and we'll just have it create um, 
we'll have it create a new chapter here in a second. So before we continue on, let's go here and get a link to this database. So you're going to hit the three little buttons here, the three dots. You're going to go to copy link to view. You're going to go back to your projects. You're going to go into your template. I did the wrong thing there. You want to go to new project, but you want to click the three dots and do edit template. And what we're going to do is down here below is we're going to click here and we're going to create create linked view of database. Okay. So we're going to use the existing one. Now what we're going to do, we're actually on this view. Now we're going to hide the database title and then you're going to go to the top, the three buttons again, we use a lot of the, the three dots, click on those a lot. Um, we're going to turn off group by projects in here because we don't need to do that. So we're going to have no grouping. But what we are going to do is go to filter and we're going to filter by project. And the project we're going to filter by is we're going to filter the project by itself. Okay. So the way, reason we do this is that when you then use this template and create it, it's going to automatically create this relation between the new thing you created. And I'll show you that in a second. Let's call this, let's call this chapters. Okay. There we go. So now what we want to do is click out of here. And again, this is very simple. We'll expand on this probably in later videos, but this is kind of the simple way to do it. So now what I, if I do this, if I click here, now I have in my original project that I created, I have this new project right here. And if I click that, it'll turn it into that template. Now, because I already had this as first draft, it will keep that. If I created a new one, it will automatically add that as an idea. So now what I, if I do this, just create chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Now, if you'll look here, if you close the project and now under our chapters thing, we have the chapters are listed under here. So as far as the projects go, that's pretty much it for setting that up. Really, the only other thing that I would do in this scenario probably is I would change this to be the set as default. And we'll do this for all views and projects. So then anytime, delete this one, anytime you create a new one, it'll automatically add it to the, it'll all automatically create a template. And then we'll just do this as project three. And actually what I'm going to do is we're going to hide that one. So there's no status. So now you just start with ideas. And so you can do that. The cool thing about this as well, you return turn this one into a project as well, is you can now, as you, this is basically a Kanban board. So what you can do is you just keep, as you finish things, you can drag them along second draft, final draft, or however many steps you have in your process. Actually, before we go on, I'm going to, we're going to update our template uh, one more time. We're going to go to the edit and we're going to add a couple of things in here to make this look a little nicer and cleaner. So let's do a heading, do a one heading chapters. So we'll type that in and we're going to drag this up above our table there. So now it's labeled chapters. And I like to always go to the color and add a not just a color, but actually had a default background. So you can add any of these colors, but then it kind of gives it a nice little bar above it, which kind of helps to differentiate things a little bit. Let's create another heading. We'll call this notes and we'll just call it notes. Do the same thing. Color will be, let's do the gray for now. And so now you have a place where you can just write some notes if you want to. You can add other headings, like you could add, let's do another heading. We'll add a, let's add, to a column. Let's try this. So let's actually back up. Let's add a two column. And so now we have this two column situation here and we'll add a heading, second heading, and we'll call this notes. And we'll call this one, I don't know, care characters or something. So now you can do this kind of, there's a lot of ways you can do this, but basically now you can split it up. You can do different things. And what we will also do in this is we will make it full width. We'll do that too. So then when you open it up, it'll actually be full width. And that's pretty much what I'll, I'll do there. I would spend some time underneath here. If you have other things you want to do, you can kind of work through this and add different things and expand it however you want. But essentially that's what I would do. And then let's click out of there. So now what this is doing is 
you have your projects that are linked to your chapters that are linked to projects. And now if we go to the chapters section, it's actually divided up by those projects. So if we go into project two, we start adding chapters. Now under project two, we have chapter. All right. So we'll add a sort. We'll sort by names. That will keep your, if you kind of keep it chapter one, two, and three, that'll kind of stay that way. It'll keep it in order. And then let's move down here and let's add some headings like we did before. Duplicate that. We'll put this up here. This will be projects. And we will also do our nice little bar there. And then what we will do is hide the database title. So if you go to the three dots here by the name of the table, you can just hide the database title. It makes it look a lot cleaner. We'll name this one projects as well. We'll name this chapters. So on our chapters, let's go in here and we'll change this again. Let's edit this property. We'll change it to a select and we will also call this status. So again, we can do the same thing. You can do idea. Let's do first draft, final draft. Okay. And then we will, so what we'll do, we'll go through this here in a second, but we'll, um, we'll duplicate this, but we're going to change this one into a, um, status board. We're going to change this to a board and we are going to group by this is where it gets really fun. We're going to group this by status due to idea first draft no status. And then you can also do a subgroup by project. So now what you have is you can kind of see all of your chapters and where they are by project, but then you can also see that for every project split out. So they're separated. So we'll go back to your chapters. And essentially what I would do now is in this particular instance, if you want to create a template, you could, but you can just open this and start writing. So here's where your prose goes. Here is where you write. And then as you create chapters like that, you can go up here. And if you click in your project one, now your chapters start lining up right here. And actually what we'll do, let's redo this since we deleted everything. Let's delete that, get a new project. So now repopulate what we created and changed. And in this, we will also sort it by name. So let's go back to our template and fix that quick. Edit the template, add your sort in by name. There we go. And there you go. You essentially have a way to track your projects, write the chapters in your project. And then also if you go into the project, you now have all the chapters collected for you there. And that is essentially how we create a writing template for ourselves in Notion to write your novel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if, what you think about this, if this is something you think you'll use or if it is helpful in any way. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out our other Notion templates that we have, which are linked down below. We also have some merch with hats and things if you want to check out our merch store. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Writing Quest. Huzzah!